Hello, hello everyone. Hello, Jill. Good afternoon, Agdeska. Good afternoon, Samperia family. I hope you're all well today. We've got already Crafty AM. Hello. <laughs> she, actually, she was uh, before two o'clock. She put comment. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think people know that the live starts at two on the whole, doesn't it? It did throw me the other day when the one started at half past, but there we are. But well, on the whole, sometimes people know internet that. not working, technology, something is wrong then well and we are just crafters or your, or your camera holder decides that it will rake as mine did this i don't know yes it's it's difficult isn't it you just can't oh, win you whatever you do something will happen yesterday driving to hello marisol. hello marisol <laughs> i dropped my my camera a few times <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we dropped it, switched it off, bashed it a bit. Thankfully, it's not broken. That's always a good start. <laughs> Hello, Roberta. Hello, Roberta. Hello, Irena. Diana. <laughs> hello, Mexico. Hello, Australia. Um, and hello, Europe. I'm sure yeah. there'll be someone driving us, uh, joining us at some point from America. Hello, Anthony. Hello, Thank Anthony. you for joining us from England. It's lovely to see and you here. Lunch. From Mexico. I don't yes. know where Marie's coming from, but there we are. Welcome. Hello, Marie. So I think that we should start because trying to do a project in an hour is yes. moderately challenging. Um, so... Here we are. We can. I'll leave you to sort out which cameras you do and don't want in shot. I don't need to worry about moving anything. So that's cool. So we're going to be making today this little mini album. It's a concertina album with a little belly band to keep it closed. We've got sorry, um, an album. Uh, that Jill, I don't up. hear you. Uh, I haven't done anything, so I think it's because you've taken... Yeah, oh, okay, it's me. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my phone <laughs> decided to try. That's okay, <laughs> I, I, I didn't touch anything. So you might find that we need to have me on screen. Can yeah. you still hear me now? Okay, I put you just on the screen. Excellent. So this is the concertina album. Hopefully that this is everything sorted. And that's what we're going to be making. I have pre-prepared everything because I think that's quite helpful. So we'll just pop that over there. So I've got a little reminder of where I'm going because that's always good. We're going to be using the Romantic Garden Collection, a uh, Garden of Promises collection, which is S8. Eight inch by eight inch pad, which is SBBS59. Uh, and we've got the clocks mold, which is lovely and such a useful mold with all its different shapes. K3 PTA4536. And I'm going to start with um, actually using some of the ceramic powder because we use it a lot. Um, because it's relatively quick and it's relatively cheap, but don't use it if you're going to use something that might get a lot of bashing around because it's brittle. And the ratio for the ceramic powder, which is, oops, she says, FC09, and I've got the 900 gram pack, but, so I think there's a 400 one. Hello, Letitia, is approximately um 100 100 mils of powder to 80 mils of water so 10 to um 8 mils approximately and i'm not going to be too fed up about that because as i say we're not going to be using it and i've actually got clean water in here so i'm just going to fix some cold water up from here a little bit and I've got a silicone cup here because that makes life easy for um for disposing of stuff and a silicone stirrer and all we do literally is mix it up until we get a slurry and if you've added too much water then you might need to add a little bit more um powder and I might have added just a bit too much water to that and we have we've got 
uh, Leticia, we've got Catherine, uh, we've got Claire, Marta, Tracy, hello, hello everyone, Valeria, and uh, everyone like your uh, project. Thank you, everyone. I have to say, I think it's quite difficult to come up with projects that are different and that are achievable. So I've now got sort of a, a slurry with <coughs> the ceramic powder and some water. That can go in there to dry. And all I'm going to do is pour it into my mould. I possibly haven't mixed up quite enough, but hey-ho, that such is life. And you can add, once it's in the mould, give it a good scrape out. Hello, Christina. Hello, Rian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then just give your mould a tap to knock out the water, any of the, as many of the air bubbles as possible. And it also helps distribute the, um, the, the liquid. And then just set it somewhere flat to dry. So I'm going to pop this on the floor where I won't stand on it. But my floor's not flat, but there we are. So here is one as that I prepared earlier on. And I started by colouring this with some gold, uh, some ivory um, paint, which is KAL12, which is one of my favourites. I do like old ivory and I also like the gold sands. And excuse me if I'm making people seasick by hitting that, my camera stand. And literally all I'm going, one of the really nice things about um, the ceramic powder is that you don't need to ugh, get rid of the hair, uh, pre-prime your pieces. And the reason I'm doing this is I want it to dry. It won't take too long, actually, because I'm in a conservatory and it's really quite warm in here today. So it won't take very long. But I want a base coat of colour. And once it's dry, I'm going to use some of Antonis's vintage patinas because just because they say they, they go with um the steampunky antonis's range does not mean we can't use them lots of other projects because it's no point in having something in our stash that we can't use for lots of different things i think so there we are so that can sit there to dry and that's going to go into there now my next piece is our two um make my album um is to make the cover for my album it is roasting and i have done quite a lot of pre-preparing because of the time frame and i'm going said to agnieszka i will um photograph these and post them so i've made a template for my case uh for my book and divided it up so i've got a nine and a half centimeter flap a panel that's 1.3 centimeters an 11 and a half centimeter flap panel that is 1.3 centimeters and a 3.5 centimeter cap panel that i've just curved at the top to make it more interesting and i've scored at where the 1.3 centimeter uh jill you disappear And I can't hear you. Jill, I don't think so, Jill, hear us. Hello, Farrell. We've got at the moment um, technical problems. Uh, Jill Camira stop working. Hopefully she can see that comment.
Sorry, guys. I will try to text. Uh... You hear me now? Yes, I hear you now, but we can't see what you are doing. Your phone disconnect. Ah. Hello, Danka. <laughs> okay, we found out the problem. So this is somebody call me. Hope we can fix everything. In the meantime, please uh, make sure you like, share, and nominate your friend for pizza box. We have a lot of friends coming. Hello, hello, everyone. Everyone, hello, everyone who I missed. I can't obviously um, um, say hello to everyone. Hello, Lamia. Hello, Laura. Yes, exactly. Like and share for Pizza Box. Yes, Donatella was uh, last uh, lucky winner of Pizza Box. Hmm. Not time now, Agnieszka, until you fix the, her camera. Well, <laughs> you must sing. No, no, no. You don't want us to be singing. <laughs> no way. You will run out and don't come back. Wait, you text me. Overheated. Okay, Jill, could you uh, could you uh, use your uh, internet camera, which you've got on your computer? Yes, crafty. Um, yeah, really. I'm as bad with singing as with uh, drawing. Uh, with uh, drawing. <laughs> And I can dance. Then <laughs> don't ask me for dancing. So let's see if we can manage this in an alternative way, given that the phone won't work. Um, let me see. Let me see. There we are. Let's come back to here. Right. Agnieszka, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I can't hear you. Oh. Right, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to work this way to camera because with my phone overheating, I can't do anything else. Uh, let me see if I can get... Uh, I can't angle that anymore. So I'm going to have to work up like this, ladies, if that works. Otherwise, we need to stop and... Answer this. How do I use my other webcam? Because... That one is that's beyond my capability, I think, to add another webcam into here. Um, I don't know what's going on at, at all. I okay, then they can't hear me now. <laughs> Technology, who would have it? And now I've got all sorts going on. Okay, here. <laughs> I don't understand. It is plugged in, Anthony. It's always plugged in. I never unplug it. So that's not part of the problem. Hey. Okay. I don't know. But if you can hear me, I can't hear Agnieszka. Ah, okay. I don't we like hear. We can hear you, Agnieszka. Here we are. Yes, I know. We will just work around it. <laughs> so, well, it would work around it if I could see what I was doing on the on the uh, There we are. Right. So I have my. We can hear you, but we can't hear Jill. Agnieszka, unmute me on your computer. Always. You have to unmute you. You have to do it. I'm not muted. <laughs> I can hear you both of you. Okay. Okay, okay. You I'm assuming now? that we can. So this is my panel that I've made. 
and we'll manage and i've cut pieces to fit inside my panel so let me just layer these in i've done the top panel i've got paint everywhere okay anton is saying can you add her other camera at the moment jill is connected with we just will, one camera and that on. camera is connected as we do so we've got our next panel which is going on the outside of our piece so we've got panel there and panel there from the book i've taken the cut apart panel with the word book of dreams because clearly um that's important it's interesting doing things upside down back to front and around the twist but hey ho we will carry on regardless so let's pop this piece onto here yes Marisol. technology us. there we are but well at least we've got a little bit fun that into here i can't hear you agnieszka i have no idea what you're saying okay and we'll squash that to there and then we've got another piece that i've cut to fit my flap so we'll pop that over there that can go onto here come sir it is a craft paper um base um danka and i've pre-cut my templates so that everything works together for me and i've I will post the i will photograph and post those pieces so here we are we're going to add another panel onto here so now she says it's really not easy doing things upside down and back to front and the wrong way around to the way you're used to doing it here we are good grief so let's just upend that one we might be putting that this box together up the opposite way and that's equally fine and one more panel so we'll add a piece some glue here hello Anna. all add to the fun of life so our outside of our box is now completely covered thank you marisol uh, technology and i are absolutely designed to you know drive each other by me uh, it's not my forte i live in complete fear of it failing because it does for me on a regular basis but there we are let me just pop these other two panels into here and then i'll show you what i've done on the inside because i there are definite limits to my ability to function upside down and back to front <laughs> danka thank you i just think we just have to carry on don't we uh, you know technology is just designed to try us so on the inside i've just decorated the top flat and the bottom flap and left the middle in thank you kathy uh, and i've the reason i'm not putting anything on here is pretty much going to cover it up anyway so it seems a bit pointless to do that so there is our cover piece so okay guys because you can't see so, again, me, i have a template pointless <laughs> I'm definitely not always on tech, Anthony. I have got better um, for my pages, which are cut, and they're giving me panels of 10 centimetres wide by nine and a half long, with a little tab at one end of one of them to allow me to join them together. Um, so, uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Uh, right, so let us take this and this we've got this piece so I, here is my there is my tab from here so um so we're just going to pop some glue on the tab and we're going to line that up with there so i'm basically joining my two panels together oh she says you see, it's too hot for my phone, which has decided to overheat, but the glue still needs time to dry. So there we are. So let's just give that a little squash. So here's my panel. So that gives me a good number of pages to put in my box. And as we can see, I've got an area where I've curved, where I've rounded all of my edges and where I've made that join. I just need to sort that out. So all I'm going to do is take off 
my corners with a pair of scissors you could use a corner punch if that's what you've got so I've now got a nice long panel for for all of this and on, this piece will glue into my book cover in a minute so now if I undo all of my other pieces then that will help matters um some pockets so, thank you uh, crafty i am <laughs> it okay. always adds adds to the i don't know if i use a clock or not so because you can't hear me anyway, at all i want it <laughs> hold, hold. so all i'm doing is concertinaing my album to the direction that I want it in, which is like that. And then I'm going to add some layers. So these are just cut to nine and a half by five centimeters. They've been inked as before, and then the edges um, um, distressed. So all I'm going to do now is to the, my first one, on the outside, I've got my panel to put reasonably central here. Thank you very much, and panel. And onto that first panel, I've just cut myself a piece that is, I've taken one of those corner uh, square pieces from the pad and trimmed it down so that I've just got a nice edged piece from here. There we are. And that then goes onto the top of here so that's on there like that and then we'll carry on working through our book so the next piece I have a, another panel sorry there's a lot of repet repetition in this but that's the, it's the thing with doing books isn't it is, is that you have repetition so that panel is going to fit in there, there but before i glue it in she says um so here's my back piece and i have taken one of the word sentiments in the panels and scored it at approximately an inch and then we align this the way i want it on the book because back to front and reversed is interesting so i'm just going to pop some glue on this tab and then i'm going to fold that around here like this so i've got a little flap that opens and then this panel will go on the first inside page of my book okay the next panel thankfully is completely plain so it's just a smaller piece of paper but one of the things i've done really is to show how easy it is to use the different pieces that you have just to create little flips and flaps for what's going on so i have got um another panel and then i'll have which i'm just going to glue into place and then i'll lift this one up for you so that you can see where we're up to so so, so far, we've got our front piece, then we've got a flap, then we've got a plain piece and another plain piece, she says, with it all moving around. Okay, so let's pop that there. So the next page I have done something different with and I've created a pocket. So that is my base piece. I have literally a torn scrap of paper that was left over torn the edge roughly and inked it rounded the corner and then all i'm going to do is pop some glue down here and along the bottom so only on the three two sides so that that is going to sit down here minus the glue in there so like this Hello, Betty. And then again, from the same piece of paper, we've got these pieces. We'll turn it up the right way. 
but on the back we've got little frames and these are literally just going to sit into my pocket so that makes life easy from there so that is just this there we are please don't forget to like and share to win and pack your friend to win pizza box that's always a good fun it's just going to sit now on my page so i now have a little pocket tucked into here okay so let's fold that and fold that so i have a feeling my next page has got a flap but this time it's a flap in a different direction so i've got another piece of paper i've taken one of the cards and i've just folded over the words to create myself a little flap and i'm going to apply glue just to this area from here so there we are I make sure i've got this paper piece of paper because it is um does have definitely have a up a, a correct direction because it's work, got words on and i'm going to center this on here like this you don't have to have them open all the whole way i crafty i am you can just open pages parts of them and then this one is going to sit into my album there we are so then when well, it's stuck nicely in place why is it that my phone's overheated but my glue is taking forever to set you know it's just typical isn't it so there we are so that is this page with a little flap from here let's just give that a squash okay so the next page is a plain page and that's fine so we'll just excuse my sniffing because i am red hot in my conservatory i can understand why my phone doesn't like it there we are so we've got a plain page and another plain page so excuse me just while i pop these down and then i'll lift it up because otherwise we might be here a little while the collection is beautiful i'm definitely going to have to go into my into a um cool bath afterwards because it is red hot in here and that's typical isn't it so here for my last page um i've got a piece of my backing paper you can see where it's come from it's come from this one which has got all the sentiments on it i've chosen another of these panels and this time i've scored it so that it will open to the opposite way to the one at the front so let me just pop this so this is scored because i want it on the outside opening away from the book so let me just centralize that pop that into there and then i will show you the last three panels that i've glued into place because i can there we are Okay, pizza box. I hope Jill not gonna talk now because she can't hear me. Pizza box. It's pizza so, box full now, of Santeria products, which you can use every one, Monday. And also two, the one with the flap from the top, two plain, and one with a flap to the left. Hello, Susanna. Then, concertinas merrily together, like this, and then we have. <laughs> thank you very much for saying that lovely that danker you know it's very stressful doing lives when things decide to misbehave um but i will photo i have got photographs of my pre-made album with all of the pages all in place all neatly done so we can work it through to quite happily so i'm just going to i'm just going to pop some matte pieces down and then i shall lift it up the next page up so this is another pocket page um so it's the same process the cover's been used as you say i've used every single bit of scrap of my paper that i can possibly use um torn to give me a, me a corner and rounded so that i've got a nice shape and then just glue. you won't going to see the inside of this so we're just gluing along those three sizes 
like this because it's not worth losing any of you know, paper is it um and then i have some more of these little note cards that are going to sit into that pocket so we'll pop them into there you'll be delighted to know ladies we've nearly done <laughs> everything well. well i'm glad plan b is working it's called being versatile isn't it and having to think on your feet you know there we are so that's in there so at this point so on the opposite side we now have have that's the front pe the panel i did right at the beginning these are the next three pages so plane pocket and a plane and let's carry on because we then need to cover some of these and this is another one of my um pockets so we've taken this piece scored it at an inch rounded the edges inked and distressed them so we'll pop some glue on that flap i know that i want this piece to open that way so there we are so we've got that piece on the front and we can glue that one in place hee 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 oh it all adds to the fun of life i do like it when plans don't quite come together hee excuse me chinnering along to myself but as no one else can hear me i'm assuming everyone's quite happy with me chinnering along i think the torn pockets are lovely and it's a great way of using our off cuts and scraps and corners of, of the fronts of books so that's another panel just being popped onto there okay good and one more panel to go and this has got a top opening flap let's orientate this piece of paper around the correct way so let me i've got another one of these folded um things it's just as well arena i can do things under stressful circumstance i think it probably relates to having spent most of my life as a surgeon and having to work with whatever patient decides to throw at you in terms of their health and then adapt and work out what's going on um equipment failures do happen in operating theatres there's always backups but sometimes it's a pain so there we are so we now have the rest of our move the correct way and of course this last panel hasn't got anything on it and that's deliberate so let me fold up this nice concertina so we don't need feet three arms long um because that is one of the headaches and i've got my panel and i'm going to make sure it's the correct way around so anna hello darling thank you from portugal we've had some problems my phone decided it was going to overheat in the conservatory so i'm having to use my computer camera and work sort of upside down and back to front which is an interesting challenge there we are so my book is now tucked in so that is the bulk of our constructing then sorted so let's just pop that over there and return this might be interesting to our ceramic piece i've never tried to do this upside down so bear with me ladies it might be an interesting chance so i've got some of the rust um vintage patina um and i will make sure i've got a damp cloth i like this because it's actually really almost a terracotta shade so i'm just going to squidge a bit into there excuse the sniffing let me just mop my head because i am dripping so it is quite warm in here and grab a wet wipe because otherwise this is going to dry far too quickly so this is the ceramic piece that i did like painted with the ivory and literally all i'm going to do now is add into everything a good layer and i'm going to probably do this because it is really red hot in here in a couple of stages because if you let it dry it's quite difficult to shift so let me do that i have a wet wet wipe here so you can see the difference it makes and i'm just literally going to wipe off the surface what i don't want to give it a more distraged image the paper's um imagery is 
is in antiqued and distressed. So I think that it works well. I love, I too love the new vintage patinas. I think the colours are lovely. Um, and of course, remember, you can colour mix them quite together. So let's pop that over there whilst we finish this piece off. Make sure you do the edges upside down, back to front. Hee hee. Just as well, I didn't do choose a very complicated uber piece that with every bit that needs to be painted standing in the air, because that might have been just more than my uh, limited brain cells could manage. And then we're just going to again lift this off. And as you say, you can lift off as much or as little as you want, depending on the look that you're going for. So I'm going to lift it off because I quite like the keys. Show. And then if you still don't like it, you haven't managed to get enough off, you can add some white gesso to it if you want to. <coughs> there we are. Run and no, I'm not one of the uh, <laughs> the designers, though that would be cool. I am simply someone who loves using um, the Stamperia products and her, I'm lucky enough to actually have been asked to join their design team recently to use the you know the romantic collection of papers. So that's that piece, that that bit that can go in the pot of water. So we now need something to hold our album together. Yeah, because otherwise it's just going to open up and things. So that's not very helpful, is you know. Is it really, if we do it that way? Have I got that in? Look, there we are. Okay. So let's see whether I've got that. Yes, I did put those all in correctly. It's always helpful to have everything in correctly. So to make my belly band, I've done a couple of things. Um, I've taken some strips of card and I've got little tabs on all of these. The pattern is a beautiful, the rust colour is lovely. So all I'm going to do is, she says, throwing them around the room. And I've deliberately left all of the panels on these because I think for a piece that's going to be moved in and out of the book, it really does make it easier. And you've noticed some of them have got, one side's got angles and one has not. Um, but the, by doing it this way, you are reinforcing Let's line it up properly. That top piece. And I'm putting the angle pieces on the inside. So this piece is going to come up onto here and join up. So my two strips have now become, as you can see, a band that will slip on and off my box. book quite happily to hold it together. We got more, I'm afraid, of the upside down, back to front and messing about. So we've got little panels to go centralised onto this front of here. There we are. And we seem to have dropped a piece along the way, which is always good. Oh, no, it's in me envelope. Because as ever, ladies who've watched me before, you'll know I put everything into little envelopes. So I've got everything they're ready. I think hiding in some air conditioning would be really, really good. Um, really good, I think, at this point. Um, for there. So let's just add all of these pieces together. This isn't, as I say, this isn't a complicated make. There's lots of rep repetitive steps. By adding the flips and the flaps, using the panels that you know, are in the albums for you, then you use every last scrap of everything, even tiny pieces. This sort of will you know, can you know, cut out of little scraps, and I, you know so. And I will post pictures of everything um, the way it is. So I'm just going to slip this now onto my book hoping that I don't, to prove that it will slip over. But I think that much as that is functional like this, it doesn't necessarily look very pretty. So at this step, what I did was take my ceramic piece. Yes, Crafty M, I think I am definitely going to have to get a fan for in here. And I... 
and I need a piece of paper so what I'm going to do because is I am going to add my clock and I have deliberately popped glue all over it no I haven't lost the pot completely um, I'm going to pop that into there and that into there and centralize it hopefully but the back piece looks ugly doesn't it so all we're going to do is slip this into here pop it down now on my actual piece i've fussy cut around here um so once it's dry but it really does need to dry in place before i can fussy cut it but it gives you an extra panel extra stability and covers the back of your ceramic piece um, so it makes it look neat and tidy and then onto the top of that you know it we're going to add a sentiment which has come from this and some flowers and for those of you that are sort of uh, aware of the fact that i'm overheating you'll be delighted to know actually i have managed to make a super quick project in not a silly amount of time which is really just as well because eh, i am cooking so i'm literally just taken sorry ladies i've forgotten that i was up here a piece and i can't cut that backwards so this is my sentiment i've got a little bit of ink again because that's what i want to add i don't like to see the white edges of paper and i did that throughout the rest of it so here so this piece i'm just going to curve slightly i'm going to add some of the crafty glue to the back of it i'm going to pick up my belly band hello susanna hello hello susanna there hello angela Good some flowers from um from the papers or a scrap that i had left there's lots and lots of flowers on the back cover that you can cut out so that is here like so and we will carry on like that so this piece is then going to decorate the bottom of here <laughs> crafty i am thank you very much i'm glad you do like me and i hope it's more than the fact that i just don't like um <laughs> white edges i just think that they're not so very nice when the papers are never you know coloring's not so we have our belly band that's reasonably com completed here as i say once it's dry i would fussy cut around there but actually i think it will work perfectly well if you don't to do that and then the last piece um that i did again to pull everything together is i took some of the gesso so mine's a well-loved pot um gets totally abused uh and I'm literally got, I've got one of the Sandorino brushes. These are natural bristle brush, brushes. So they're quite stiff and I think they are great for dry brushing. So I put some on here and that's clearly way, way too much for what I need. And I'm just going to literally tap it off on the side of my mat. So I've got a little bit and all I'm going to do is just add and I can't see what I'm doing. So here we are, some bits around all of these edges and it will just again it softens the, the craft card and brings everything together crikey that's drying quickly as i say all we need to do is add this and i would do it on the inside pages as well because clearly you want your whole piece to be consistent there we are so all I'm doing now is literally just adding pieces and I would carry on on the insides of everything. And I'm going to do that off camera because it's too hot. Carry on upside down and back to front. So there we are. So we have a little concertina album. I will finish it by adding some more dry, dry brushing when I'm off camera. Um, I will photograph it and I will photograph the templates 
so here we are here is our album completely completed apart from a little bit of dry brushing i think it should work well i will as i say photograph my templates take all the pictures and then share it to um to stamp areas worldwide and also onto my own um page if that's okay uh, with everyone i'm going to give a shameless plug and i hope that no one might but i am going to be doing a live on crafting together with all brands which is a uk group that anyone around the world is welcome to join on sunday morning at 11 o'clock and i'm going to be using garden of promises rice papers to make some projects um with that so if you you know, like the idea of a project with rice papers as opposed to the paper pad then um please join me there there we are now agnieszka cannot hear what i'm saying at all no, um, i hear well, you i can't hear you that's for sure yeah. i'm good at the reading though now i can see you so that's my project completed i'm really sorry about the technical trouble um fan will be being invested 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 in for the conservatory and doors will be opened so hopefully next time we won't have such a big problem so that's, okay. that's live for today one mini album start to finish okay i have cheated quite a lot because i cut everything out ready um to go but i think it is uh it's a useful project and it would make a fab present for lots of people, particularly for grandmas to put pictures of their grandchildren in or new babies as brag books. OK, thank you very much, everyone. I try to be quiet during the live, even if this is very difficult, because I know Jill can't hear me and I don't want to disturb her when she's explaining to you how to make a thing. <laughs> <laughs> then from one point, that, that life was very funny. Well, it's, it's happened. It's happened. Then, well, thank you, so much. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lo uh, Jill. Lovely project. I love it a lot. You inspire me, and I have to go back and watch again because, uh, well, I obviously uh, during um, uh, live I just put comments and uh, and so on. Then I will watch it uh, again. Thank you very much. I hope you got great fun with us today with technical issues. <laughs> and see you very soon. Bye-bye.